What are we at the start of the three start day? Start of Dotson Trail. Dotson Trail, the outer mountain loop of Big Bend. We should be good. We spent last year, or two years ago, three years ago when we came, we, we spent uh, way up on top there. So this time we're doing the bottom. You done? <laughs> kind of kind of weave our way up through uh, that notch up there come down through here not 100% sure but we'll figure it out pretty though it's gorgeous maybe we'll go up there later started right at the other end of that thing and woggled our way here in the last hour hour and a half and we are uh, I guess we're going up through there Gonna waggle our way up and over. Probably stop for lunch here. Looks like a good flat rock over there, Karen. Okay. What? You want the last one? Yeah, I'll have the last one. This is lunch. See our nice restaurant. Green belly. Parmesan crisp. Green belly. Mm, okay. I'll have the parmesan. And we had too. peanut butter and tomatoes. And we have some butterscotch and an extra peanut butter. I think I have too much butterscotch, but oh well. Mm. I'll eat them. Bye. I'm going to dodge a lot of these guys. Cacti. Guess we're going up through there. That'll be fun. Oh yeah, I came back down through there, so say hi. Well, we've come all the way back down and up and over the ridge. Let's see what we can see. Hopefully it won't be another false ridge. <sighs> Hate those false summits. It doesn't look like there's many summits here. Tomorrow though, we're going up and over that across the ridge line and back down. So that'll be fun. Oh yeah. All right, looks like we dip down and around, Karen. Some be camped here, it looks like. All right. Oh, we still got some down and ups. So three and a half hours in, maybe. First day, really pretty. Back there, you see the oak trees. Probably a spring up in there, but we didn't bother to check. We just passed by it. So we're, I don't know, six miles, eight miles in. Um, the only problem is, um, there's Karen up there. We have to somehow get over that ridge over here. Obviously, we're not going over the canyon there, but we're gonna, looks like we're gonna cut up, maybe behind there, up there, I'll bet. Karen, what do you think? Wait, up there? there? Yeah. Yep, I think so. I think we're gonna cut behind that. December the 30th or 31st? 30th, it's my mom's birthday. 30th. Uh, Fresno Creek about three o'clock in the afternoon. Looks like the creek itself is actually running. So water here is good Here it is down in the, the creek bed. It's running great. You can fill up here. Yeah, you could resupply here without any issue at all Up so upward toward the string. It's it's going good here. It's clear. Yep, it is probably cool, too mm -hmm. yeah, Let's keep moving What you think sweetie? Gorgeous. Hell of a climb out of there Excuse me? Look at that. Mm. Yeah. Pretty epic. Way the hell down there. And you can see Karen's got to go up over the last little hump over there. Hopefully we think that's the top. We see the sun shining up there because you can see the sun on the top of the mountains. It's freaking cold down in the shadows though. All right, up we go. Been walking along this riverbed for a little while is a whole lot easier than going up and down those damn hills but it's getting chilly sun's down it's probably dropped 20 degrees so good frozen night tonight say hello Miss Karen hello I'm back here <laughs> I love you all right I guess this is where we're gonna here's the main trail Karen's got a spot over there it's about as flat as we're gonna find among the scrag. And I'm sure we can 
knock some stuff around and make it comfy. Anyway, this is home for the night. The problem is that sun is going to go behind the dang uh, 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 mountain there and it's going to drop the temperature. So we need to be bedded down. We're making dinner. We have. Um, we actually ate a bunch of dinner, but. Bean soup, dried bean soup that we made. And green belly stuff. Green, uh, the green and red peppers dried, dehydrated, are fantastic. Ooh, it looks like the soup is coming along okay. Mm. And here's our little Kent and our little valley. That's not a bad view from the front here. Oh wow, look behind you. Uh, oh wow. The sun, well, the way the sun's. Yeah, going. that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. Wow. But it's dropping like the temperatures. Hope we don't. And there's the gorgeousness out the front porch. Oh, wow, that jalapeno was really good. Good. All right. It's turned on. Hello. It's the end of day one at the Outer Mountain Loop in Big Bend. And we did, uh, I guess we got started late noon. So we did about nine, eight, nine miles. That's about it in four or five hours. Five hours, I guess. Anyway, we got in here because once the well, what we've learned about the desert is when the sun goes down, it gets really cold, really, really fast. And we're in this thing with a bunch of dead, dead geese because we're feathers here and feathers here. And oh, that's what you here. meant by dead ducks. Yeah, there are dead ducks. Even though okay. we got down booties, Karen even has down mittens. I think, yeah, little down mittens to stay warm. So it's um, about sunset. <laughs> we're going to bed because we're going to get up at sunrise and hike again. It's freezing. You're real talkative tonight. I don't know what to say. We uh, we had oh our we opted not to um, make food, you know, with hot water. We just had bouillon tonight, mm, and mm. we had freeze dried soup that we not freeze dried. We had dehydrated soup that we had mm. made at home as leftovers, and it was much much better. Yeah, right, I'm going to bed now. Good night. Good night. Good morning. It's cold. <laughs> it's breakfast time. There's our tent site and everything up here. Not bad. I got a hand warmer. Yeah. <sighs> so Karen says, I just heard her wow as she went over the ridge. So we will see uh, what we got up here. Oh, wow. Karen, hang on. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Wow. I can see where the trail cuts down. Gorgeous. It's absolutely unreal. That's a... oh, so we're about a mile in on day two. Karen's taking all her stuff off because the sun's starting to beat on us. Uh, it looks like we're going to follow the trail down along that ridge down there and then out. I don't know whether we, I think we're going to skirt the bottom of that butte over there and then pop out and turn back up the other side, but it sure is pretty. Just short of Homer Wilson Rants on the Dodson Trail. It is a pretty morning. That wind's cold. In the uh, Homer Wilson Ranch, where we're done with the Dodson Trail and we're head up uh, the Blue Creek Trail, which is we got to climb that bastard in a few minutes. That's going to be fun. But uh, imagine this guy living here. I don't know how he could, but lived here for a long time, all by the little family's lonesome. So, pretty nice place. Coming north out of uh, up with Blue Creek. About a half a mile out of uh, Homer Wilson Ranch. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? This work is gonna be interesting. We gotta get up there somehow. I think we're gonna cut around uh, through that slot there and then cut back up, but we're gonna get up on top there somehow. So, Blue Creek Trail, once we get out of the desert, once you get up high enough, it starts to look very much like the hill country, vegetation and whatnot, um, with the uh, notable exception of there seems to be dry bear scat everywhere and we don't see much of that in the hill country.
So we're walking through this area that looks like the hill country, and just to our left, we're reminded that we're actually still in the desert. That's we, way up there, too. That is really cool. I wonder if people lived up in there ever. Lunchtime, I guess, we started uh, down the bottom of this slot goes all the way down in the valley. You can see it back there. And then we spent the last hour or two moving up through here, through that wooded area, and now we're back up to this. Uh, we gotta get up through the pinnacle up there somehow. Not sure how we're gonna do it, but uh, I'm sure Karen has a good idea. I'll follow her. So we started down the morning down by that thing there. Came all the way around, swung around the backside of that mountain, and then up this mother, and came across the face here, and came back this way. And then there's no more up left. Can't do it to us anymore. <laughs> All right. Well, we're both pretty tired tonight. There was a lot, a lot, a lot of up. We climbed a huge mountain. Big Bend is definitely made up of mountains. That yes, is for and sure. If, if you um, get out of the sun, it gets really cold really fast, even if it's hot in the sun. So. And we are stealth camping tonight. Yeah, we're 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 not camping illegally, so don't arrest us. But we couldn't make the rest of the mileage. We'll knock out the trail tomorrow, but. Um, Hopefully bears won't bother us tonight because we're up in the basin and there's bear poop everywhere. But top center here is the uh, that white can. Bear spray. That's and bear we, spray. we double bagged all of our food and we did not eat anything that we thought would be really, really, really small. We didn't cook anything. We didn't cook anything at all. It's been so. a really, really nice day, though. I mean, we went through desert and we went through stuff that looked like the hill country. And then we went straight up. I could not imagine having climbed that high, but we're, we're up here mm. at the top. It's pretty cool. And it's what, 7.15 at night and we're going to bed and we're yeah. getting up in 12 hours. And I have a hat of infinite wisdom right here that I'm going to put on in just a few moments. It right, is put your hat on, let's go to bed. It feels good. All right, I'm putting it on. It's... It makes you look like a mushroom or as Karen says, well, I know, I know, like I know. Else, but All right, so... I'm ready. All right. Good, good night. night. Button. We stopped for breakfast on our last day out. We uh, had black eyed peas because it's Happy New Year. Oh, yeah, they are crunchy. They're like eating gravel, though. <laughs> they are good. No, but they were good. They, they taste good. good. They're just very crunchy. And then we were just not this. Yeah, weather's not so good today. Hopefully, it won't rain or anything on us. We have just about 6.6 .6 miles left up that way and then back down. <laughs> and. If I don't trip because I got the damn camera, that's where we're going. Oh my, we got a long down going up here, don't we? Headed down that and into that. This is all down for the next that seven was miles. The south Rim. That's where we slept that night. Yeah, we slept up there. That's right. And that's what we looked down on and saw the saw the birds mating. Wow. wow. Oh, down wow. we go. <sighs> Walking out. That doesn't suck. Hazy morning, look at that. It's gorgeous. Oh, still coming down these hills. Pretty. Ooh, that cactus smells so good. Yeah, I know. So we're up on the side of the ridge not bad a couple years ago we stayed well I think it's I think it's over the top of that ridge there up one ridge up that was pretty that's all peregrine falcon breeding ground all that sky there they shut it off in the spring so Karen thinks we came down through that notch there I think she may be right looking at it I thought we might have come down that slippery notch and around the side, but I think she's right. I think we came down through there. We're down pretty good on a meadow. This is a little uh, flat plateau here, and then it drops off and takes us down to the final end of the car. And that's all the way to the bottom. I think down in the flat there before that second mountain is uh, our car. We will be driving out here in, I don't know, an hour or two. Last two miles, just smooth and nice. Karen's a billy goat ahead of me, as usual. We're about a mile, maybe, out to the end. Just first good mileage. I mean, first time we've been able to open it up 
three days, walking about three miles an hour, which is wonderful. Um, I think just up around the corner, we'll be able to declare victory on this thing. We are done. What? Uh, half a mile. Half a mile to the car, yeah. Three days of walking, two six-hour days and one nine-hour days. The loop's supposed to be 31 miles, but I think we clipped a corner. It didn't feel quite like 31 the whole time, but it was pretty good. It was 31. A couple things about the desert. One, when the sun goes down, it gets really cold. Two, water is really heavy. And three, uh, non-existent, pretty much. Oh, it's it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. That, that water, yeah, but you you can't you can't really refill. We saw one, no, there's one no, spot no. You got to carry all your refill. stuff. We still have a couple gallons on us for the just in case, even though we don't need it. But damn, it's heavy. So, anyway, beautiful. If you've not been out to Big Bend, get out here. Um, Outer Mountain Loop was a lot of fun. Bye. Bye.